In this example problem, we'll be calculating the intensity when we're given the decibel value. That decibel value in this problem is 82 decibels. So it's a fairly direct problem. It requires a little bit of knowledge of logarithms, uh, how to analyze an equation that involves logarithms. Our starting equation is the decibel number is equal to 10 times the log base 10 of the intensity divided by a reference intensity, I naught, that's been agreed upon to be 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. And we have the number 82 for the decibel. We're trying to find I. Our difficulty here mathematically is that this I is under the control of a log function. So we're going to have to somehow cancel that off. We'll get to that in just a couple lines. My first step will be to divide both sides by 10. And that produces 8.2 equals the log of i divided by 10 to the minus 12. Next, how do we cancel off a log function? Well, I need to apply its inverse function. And that will be applied to both sides. So I make on the left here, uh, 8.2 becomes 10 raised to the power of 8.2. I have to do the same manipulation on the right side of the equation. So log of i divided by 10 to the minus 12 becomes 10 raised to the power log i divided by 10 to the minus 12. So this is perfectly legal. If I have, uh, I'll just do something a little different. If I have a equals b, then 10 to the a will equal 10 to the b. So that's what's uh, happening here. Now, the point of, or the purpose of this is to be able to remove i from the control of this log function. Log base 10 is the inverse function of 10 raised to a power. And the mathematical property is that those two functions now cancel each other's effect. And we end up with 10 to the 8.2 on the left side equals just i divided by 10 to the minus 12. It's not a division. It's a mathematical property that the function 10 to a power is the inverse function of log base 10. And inverse functions applied on each other end up canceling their effect. And I just get the argument i divided by 10 to the minus 12. Now, multiply both sides by 10 to the minus 12. So we have i isolated. We're trying to find the intensity i. How do I analyze 10 to the 8.2 times 10 to the minus 12? Well, we have the same base. So we add the powers, 8.2 plus a negative 12. And we get 10 to the minus 3.8. And I need to raise my paper a little bit here. Sorry about that. We have 10 to the 8.2 times 10 to the minus 12. We add those powers, 8.2 plus a minus 12, and we get 10 to the minus 3.8. Now, activate 10 to a power on your calculator where that power is minus 3.8, and you should obtain 1.585 times 10 to the minus 4 watt per square meter. And I could have rounded that, but uh, I chose for a reason I don't remember to keep four digits. Uh, 1.585 times 10 to the minus 4. You should pause the video and try this on your own calculator to make sure you're comfortable in uh, raising 10 to a, a negative power coming up with that result. If you have questions, ask your instructor. You may wish to view some other physics and astronomy short lectures and uh, example problems worked out. You can see a list of those at these free websites, no registration. You'll see a list of the videos, and there'll be a direct link to the YouTube video. In each case, hopefully they're easy enough to find. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you're watching a YouTube video, click on the subscribe button. There's no cost for doing that.